Yeah, this story's crazy. Wait, is that the guy right there? Less than 24 hours later, private pilots were being asked to return to that area to do what Mr. Sid. What's up, everybody? Watch your on-air Nick Java, Nick Java podcast. Yo, guys, this is hilarious, man. This is hilarious. So uh, the first podcast I put out earlier today was about the fire chief and Lake Lure that threatened to arrest a helicopter pilot that was helping save people. And Brittany points out, the guy walked into the interview. <laughs> I was able to look him up a few minutes after I left. And who is this? His title online is the Assistant Chief of Lake Lure Fire and Rescue. This is the man, volunteer helicopter pilot Jordan Sidum said, threatened to arrest him if he made one more trip up a Lake Lure mountain to rescue another person. Just minutes before, a couple waved Sidum down as he passed overhead. Mike and Susan Coffey were stranded on a cliff after the storm washed away their home in the land it sat on. Oh my God, I was so relieved that, um, <laughs> that he was picked up and that we were back together. In the days after the storm, the communication lines were down at Town Hall. No phone, internet, or cell signal either. We sent messages to Assistant Chief Chris Melton, the man Jordan Sidum said ran him and any other pilot who showed up out of town under threat of arrest. But Melton never responded. Thursday morning, instead of making Assistant Chief Melton available, the town offered its town manager for an interview. All right, guys, so I was editing earlier, and I totally missed this. And on the playback, Brittany pointed out this, man. This is hilarious. That guy is in the video. <laughs> he was, he's unavailable. It's, yeah, yeah. He's in the corner waiting for the girl to go <laughs> to lunch with him or something. Like, the, he's well, totally the, in the building. The dude was like, the funny part is, is they're like, we reached out to him and he will not answer. Like, we reached out to him and he's not. He's, <laughs> yeah, and he like... <laughs> He's like, he's like, yeah, we'll get, we'll give you guys a sample real quick. Yeah, guys. So, uh, Brittany is actually not available to speak with the media at the moment. And, uh, she's just, she's just not available. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Stuman, less than 24 hours later, private pilots were being asked to return to that area to do what Mr. S there he is. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, man. That is crazy. Look at him. He's unavailable for the media. Wait, you gotta keep going. You see his little mustache. That's his mustache. <laughs> Look, he's got that handlebar mustache, man. The fire chief is unavailable, guys. He's in the other room waiting. <laughs> he's in the other room waiting, man. You guys have a blessed day. Take care. You watch your own air with Nick Job, Nick Job, a podcast. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Take care.